Then, for the beginners, I'm going to mark the four skipped stitches with yarn markers again. And then, you're going to make a back post treble crochet into the fifth stitch after you skip four. So I'm going to skip four stitches and make my back post double crochet, treble, treble crochet, sorry, around that fifth post. So it's a treble crochet, back post treble crochet. And then you're going to make one back post treble crochet into the next three, around the next three posts. And then, if you remember, I turned my work so that the right side is facing me. And then I'm going to go into that first skipped stitch, which I have my yarn marker in. I'm going to go ahead and remove that first yarn marker. And I'm going to be working a front post treble crochet around that first skipped stitch. Oops, front post. Sorry, I was doing it back. <laughs> so front post, treble crochet around that first skipped stitch that I removed the yarn marker from. Then I'm going to make a front post double treble crochet around the second post. So I just removed the yarn marker from the second stitch skipped stitch then I have my third skipped stitch. I'm going to go ahead and remove the yarn marker from that and make my front post treble crochet and then the last stitch Then you can turn your work back around so that the wrong side is facing you again. And then you just continue making your double crochet, one double crochet in each of the stitches until you reach your next cable and then repeat. Okay, so now I've moved up to round 13. Here you can count, here's the center of the magic circles, one and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. In case you have to put your work down and you forget where you are, you'll know round thirteen. I would write down what you're doing because remember that in between your back post treble crochet and front post treble crochet, you need twelve, a round of twelve just back post double crochet, which is the round that I'm at now. And I'm going to work this with you because this back post double crochet round can be a little bit tricky. So here I'm going to work the first four back post double crochet. Now this is the part where it gets a little tricky. So what you're going to do is you're just going to scoot over those front. You're going to work these first, the ones furthest from you, and then you're going to work the back post on the remaining four that are closer to you. Or actually on this one, this round is the one where you pull the front 
the ones closest to you, the front um, treble crochet to the right, and then the back, the one furthest from you, you pull over to the left. So that's the tricky part. So now I'm going to make the back post double crochet around the four that are closest to me. Then I'm just going to scoot over the four that are furthest from me and make my back post double crochet around each of those. And then you just keep repeating this pattern until you get to round 18 and then come back. I'm just going to finish this last set and then show you what the cable looks like. And then you can finish making the rest up to round 18 and then come back. So here you can see this is what your cable should be looking like. You got your braid. So now I'm just going to show you, I just finished 17 rounds. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. I still have it on the wrong side, so I'm just going to flip it so you can see the cables. And there are the beautiful, here's one beautiful cable. Here is the other cable. You can see the twisting. There's one, two, and three. Same with the other one. One, two, and three. After you make your slip stitch to finish the 17th round, go ahead and make the hat so that the right side is facing you. So I have a chain two. Then I'm going to make a half double crochet into the next stitch so you can see the post of the next stitch. So this would be the stitch above the post. I'm going to yarn over. Go into that stitch, bring up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through all three for a half double crochet. I'm just going to make a couple more with you. Just yarn over, go into the next stitch over, bring up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over, turn the hook upside and go down and go through all three for a half double crochet. And you're going to make one half double crochet in every stitch around. I'll make one more with you. And then you can continue making one half double crochet in every stitch around and then come back. This is what my work looks like after making a half double crochet in every stitch around. I'm back to my chain two that I started with. So I'm going to make a slip stitch into the top stitch of that first chain two that I made. Then I'm going to go ahead and finish off. Just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to bury into your work. Then you can take and just turn your work inside out because we're going to bury the loose yarn ends. So go ahead and get your tapestry needle 
and just put your loose yarn end, any of your loose yarn ends, onto your tapestry needle and then you're just going to weave it along the inside of the wrong side of the hat. And I like to go in a couple of different directions just to make sure that that loose yarn end isn't going to come out. And then once I've buried the loose yarn end really well, then I can take and just cut it. So go ahead and bury any of your loose yarn ends. This is what the hat looks like when you're all finished. So here's the top. If you want, you can place a pom-pom onto the top. Here is the cable again. Here is the other cable. And it turned out very beautiful. I just wanted to show a close-up of all of the crochet braided cable designs. So I have a separate video tutorial for the adult version of the crochet braided cable. This crochet baby blanket is my sweet pea blanket. It's really easy to make and is perfect for a beginner crocheter even though it doesn't look like it's for a beginner. It's very easy to make. And then you can make your matching baby booties. These are the crochet cable, braided cable, matching baby booties. And then there's a separate video tutorial for the crochet baby and toddler braided cable hat. This color was made with Red Heart Super Saver. And then this one is made with 100% cotton. Just showing a different color. The same booties in a different style of yarn, the 100% cotton. And then also there's a separate video tutorial for this scarf, this matching scarf. And this is what the different yarn looks like for the toddler braided cable the scarf with the braided cable for a toddler. But I also show how you can make it larger if you like it for the adult version. And I also have a separate video tutorial for these crochet braided cable matching mittens. And I show how to attach the cable so the toddler doesn't lose their mittens. I needed two skeins of this yarn if you like this particular yarn and I show the yarn that I used in the video tutorials. But I needed two skeins to make the hat, the scarf, and the mittens. And then this is how much yarn is left over. I just wanted to show you these boxes that I got for the gift sets and the reason why I got these style boxes is because the person can easily store them so it's a really sturdy box. I was going to get the plastic containers but um, these were on a good sale so I went ahead and grabbed these because they were really sturdy to put the gifts in. If you like these boxes I got mine from the container store. Here's the name of the brand you can take this tag out and turn it around and then you can write whatever you want on it. I'm going to put Gracie's winter outfit in this one. And this is how I packaged up my gift sets. 